What's up, Rockstars? Welcome to a very fun video and a video I've been wanting to make for a long, long time. I know you guys have been waiting for it. The video where I talk about who is getting thank you gifts for the amazing donations that you guys turned out for the fundraiser I did earlier this year. So let's dive in. All right, now I'm not gonna go over everything mainly because this video would be much longer than it needs to be and because the focus would shift away from what I want it to be. But suffice it to say, this year has been kind of a roller coaster for my family. It was very unintended, uh, very sudden, and yet I think it's for the better. But for a long while, I wasn't unable to even film videos. Nonetheless, have all of my belongings in one place or in a place that I owned. So it, it, it's been a long time coming, but we're here now. I'm ready to start actually announcing this and then actually sending out the email. So there are some things that still need to happen. I need to print crowns. I need to sign the games. I need to send out emails to the companies that are gonna be sending some of these out and to you guys who are getting something directly from me. We'll be doing that. There's some logistics around the crowns for the people who are getting it from the game and uh, people who maybe didn't get a thank you gift at all because I didn't have enough to go over. I don't even know if anybody like that exists. We'll have to go through all the logistics. There's still a lot of logistics here, but we're ready to actually announce who of you are getting a thank you gift. And guys, again, thank you so much. I know that you don't donate just to get a thank you gift. I know that you donate because you care about the channel and I really do appreciate that. And I wanted to always stress that of course as well, uh, that if you're just wanting a game, obviously don't donate. That's not the purpose of a donation. That being said, me being able to give back to you guys more than just the videos I make is such a pleasure that I really do enjoy it. So, I, I mean, I, you know, I talked about the banner here and I just wanted to say like, this this is what matters, right? The The stuff that I do, that actually can help you guys out, whether it's talking about details or talking about a company or talking about product that's out or just things that I'm looking forward to that maybe you are too. It, it We have a lot of fun on the channel, but we also talk about some serious stuff. And I just, I really thank you for supporting that. It does mean a lot to me, of course. Now, before we jump into the slideshow where I show all the games and all the people getting them, Quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video. Into the AM, of course, they make awesome shirts just like this. I figured, why not tell you guys about a great sale? And also, I'm not putting ads on this video. And so this is like to still help support it. And at the end of the day, that's what this whole video is about. It's about supporting the channel. So it kind of fits in. And honestly, great quality product. They are actually having a 50% off site-wide Labor Day blowout sale, which is super awesome. You can literally get some of their stuff from $11, okay? So they have some really, really good stuff out. So you can follow the link in the description below. Save 10% on top of any sales they do with the with my code or by following that link. And yeah, great stuff. Like You guys know the stuff fits great. It feels great. It looks great. I've worn this shirt so many times. It's been washed so many times. Still looks fantastic. I get compliments all the time on these shirts. I'm going to have more coming here soon to show off to you guys. So super stoked for that. I'm excited every time I get some from Into the AM because they just make such great quality clothing. I, I love it. I really, really do. So feel free to check them out. Again, link down in the description below. Of course, save yourself 10% with that code. That's 10% on top of their 50% sale they already have. So definitely check that out for that Labor Day sale, which of course probably ends sometime after Labor Day. So you might want to jump on that. All right. Now with that out of the way, seriously, let's jump into the actual slideshow. Super pumped for this. So, you know, again, obviously, thank you. Thank you so much for just an amazing turnout, an amazing community that I get to be a part of. I am very blessed to have you guys around the channel. You guys are smart. You guys are uh, really in the know and let me know about a lot of the things that I need to be paying attention to. And likewise, the other way around where sometimes I notice something that you guys might be interested in. So it's just a great community to be in to both celebrate the industry and also make sure that the industry is held a little bit more accountable than perhaps it is otherwise. Uh, you know, there's a lot of companies not making a lot of money, but there's a lot of companies that are making a lot of money. And honestly, when it comes to how you're treated, it kind of doesn't matter what the company's doing. It kind of matters how you're treated during whatever process that is, right? So anyway, it, it seriously, just thank you. All right. Now, with that out of the way, 
let's get into it. Now, this is going to be in a random order. Um, uh, the uh, order, the drawings were all obviously random and then picked out. And honestly, it wasn't even me picking like favoritism or anything like that. Uh, my patrons actually helped support this through a program that just automatically does this. So literally, it's like I don't, I don't even see it until the results are even in. But I am super pumped to give these out to you. Now, some people, some people got out great. And they, like, didn't donate a whole lot, which that doesn't matter. Like, seriously, thank you for any donation. But they're getting, like, hundreds back in a thank you gift, which is just so fun. I love giving these to you. So it's it's, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. So, all right, let's go ahead and dive in. So here's a Mind of Magic 3 all-in big box. As you can see, a very big box indeed. This is a huge game, and there's another campaign coming out here soon. Actually, if I remember, I'm going to link down to it in the description, maybe as well. Uh, but it's coming out very, very soon, in like 16-ish days, I think, at the time of recording, something like that. Either way, more to come. They have two new whole areas that they're, that they're going to be adding to this, so it's going to be even bigger than this. But, David Springer, congratulations, you'll be getting this very big, awesome box of board game. It's going to be freaking sweet. All right, next up we have Chronicles of Drunagar plus Chronicles of Drunagar Apocalypse. This is a big one. There's a lot here, a lot of game, many, many hours of game. One of my favorite, I really like the allocation of like the cubes and the darkness and the skill trees and stuff like that. Just, just a fun RPG that you can go and the story's really uh, fun, especially Apocalypse. Like Apocalypse story is awesome. I really do enjoy it. So it's a super duper cool to uh, to play the game and it plays so much different than a lot of the other dungeon crawls. Really appreciate that as well. And Jake Walston, you are gonna be grabbing that. So congratulations to Jake. Good job, Jake. All right, next up we have ISS Vanguard. This is one of the ones from Game War Create. Again, I'll link down to them down below. They helped support this channel through several different giveaways. So this is one of them. And ISS Vanguard looks to be super duper cool. From what I understand, the people who got into it really, really enjoyed it. I didn't personally get into it, but I mean, even that mini there looks amazing. And so it's a very cool looking like sci-fi Mass Effect style kind of look to it that I think is just beautiful. Uh, Awakened Realms also to make pretty games, that's for sure. And Matt L, you will be getting that, so congratulations, Matt L. And again, we'll, we'll contact everybody um, uh, that, that, that one, so you'll, you'll, you'll know that you got something. All right, next up, the Six Siege Prototype. This was probably one of the biggest ones you guys posted on because so many of you didn't pay like the extra fee to get Six Siege. And then it ended up, as I already saw, like a really good game. Kind of like I, I said it was. Like, it, 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 one of the things that kind of is upsetting about Mythic Games, which by the way, video coming out on that soon, is that they made really good games. And yet they just couldn't do the whole business side of things and it just all fell apart. But the Six Siege prototype, I still have that. It's still a lot of fun. There's still plenty of game there. And Gregory Wormuth, you're getting that. Congratulations, Gregory. I'm probably going to swap to just first names because even then I know some of the ones coming up I'm going to struggle on a little bit. I apologize if I mispronounce anything, of course. All right, next up is a giant painted arena and Tenaris bundle. So I have a lot of Tenaris stuff. Um, like a lot, lot. Uh, because there's been a lot of campaigns and I've kind of showed off stuff that's coming out for each campaign So over time I've just gotten a lot of stuff plus all the stuff I've bought from it So like there's just there's a lot so I, I Compartmentalize this into these like really fun bundles And so this is one of the ones this one is the painted bundle, which is super fun Steven Disney you are going to be getting that congratulations Steven uh, I know you've been a long term supporter here and member of the community super excited that you got this one. The painted stuff is actually really, really good. All right, next up we have Kingdom Rush. This is one that I, early on, backed. Um, I was aware of the video game and actually played the video game and it looked like a lot of fun, like something my family would like. But at the same time, it was early on when I wasn't sure exactly what my family would and wouldn't play. And this is ends up being something that they're not really into. So I have a lot of it. And then the next Kickstarter came out and they had this nice Emperor's Chest where you put everything into it. And so I got that. So at least now it's all in one box. It'll be super easy to ship out. So you're going get, to be getting my copy of that. And Michael Curtin, you will be getting that. Uh, so congratulations. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, it's not everything, I think, from the second one. But it's pretty much the all-in of the first one plus Empress Chess, I believe, is what it is. So either way, there's a lot of content there. Hopefully you love it. Next up, Aeon Tr Trespass, 12 Sins of Heracles. This is a big one, a huge one. Uh, this is this is the game I've thrown a lot of money at. Uh, this is the game I very much enjoy. 
And this new stuff, the 12 Sons of Heracles, looks to be awesome. Very, very cool. i super excited for this. Really, I'm, I'm an Into the Unknown kind of like fan when it comes to a lot of their games and their style and just, just their sensibility. Really, really love it. And uh, yeah, Sean, I hope you love this as well. Well earned, Sean. Um, this is going to be awesome for you, I'm sure. All right, next up we have Lobotomy 2. This is my copy. It's the Admission plus the Villain Ward expansion. Mainly because the Villain Ward expansion pretty much had like DC knockoff characters, so I got that. Um, again, very, very cool looking game. Um, just the art right there, like it's one of my favorite box arts of any board game ever. It just looks super cool to me. I very much love the whole skull thing going on there. It just looks awesome, and it's a very cool theme as well. And Eric, I hope you have a great time with it. hope you really enjoy it. Thank you for supporting. All right, next up we have the Rogue Angels prototype. Rogue Angels is a very, very cool game that I very much enjoyed. Just the the the, the act of it was very close to like a tabletop RPG kind of experience. It's like kind of like Mass Effect, and it it, it just it, it played really really well. I liked the enemies. I liked the information on the standees. That was really cool as well. It's an indie game that has a lot of support, and I'm super excited for it. And the prototype is going out to Daryl. Daryl. Enjoy this. Honestly, it's a very cool prototype, and there's actually some uh, fair bit of content in there, too, that I think you're going to really enjoy. So that, that's a fun one. Honestly, it's cool to own these prototypes just because, like, there's not a whole lot of them out there, right? It's almost like a little bit of a collector's item. Even if you have, the, even if you backed, like, Rogue Angels, having the prototype is something almost conversation worthy and you can see kind of where it came from and the changes they made and you get a little bit more insight into how they made the game and just... A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Super cool. All right. Next up, Dune War of Arrakis, the carry-all pledge. Again, another one from Game War Create. Thank you so much for your support, of course. And this one, again, doing quite well. They're still coming out with content from it every now and then. So it looks like it's going to be supported actually fairly well from Come On. And the, this carry-all pledge, which is quite a bit, is going out to Milas. So Milas, congratulations. Again, thank you so much for the support. And I hope you really do enjoy this one. I know, I know you'll love the theme. So as long as the gameplay is also good, you'll be great. Um, and the art looks gorgeous. So there's that too. Next up, Bloodborne. Full Moon All in Set. This is probably the hardest one for me. This is my personal copy. You will be getting my copy of my All In to Bloodborne. I love the video game. I adore the video game. One of my favorite PlayStation games pretty much I've ever played. Um, Bloodborne is just such a cool theme, such a cool world, such a great game. The board game, I actually still quite enjoy with some, you know, uh, little changes, some tweaks to the, to the gameplay, but it just, it, it got to the point with enough plays to where we just weren't going to keep playing it. And so it's just sat on my shelf. And while I love having it, I love owning it. I love the fact that it even exists. I know that uh, Chiral, Chiral, you will get a lot more joy out of it than I will. And hopefully it does not sit on your shelf. But instead it's played and loved and adored and that you enjoyed a lot. It's a lot of stuff. It's going to be a big box you're going to be getting just as an FYI. Um, very, very cool. Very cool minis. If some of them are even painted, so you're going to get some of my painted minis. There you go. Congratulations. Things like the wolf guys, like the, the tat tattered like clothing and stuff. I, I didn't even do a painting video on it. I just painted it for fun. Um, so you'll be getting some of that kind of stuff as well. It'll be, it'll be pretty cool. Next up, a Primal prototype. This was actually really, really cool. So Primal of the Awakening, they had this nice prototype that I really enjoyed playing and then I got involved in being able to help make the minis as good as I could get with, you know, obviously some, you know, you know, um, some, some things I couldn't do, right? Because I wasn't designing it. They were already designed. I'm not the owner of it. I'm just consulting, you know, all this kind of stuff. But I think they came out really well. But you can see these are going to be, I think, resin at the time uh, of the prototype. So they're going to be super nice. So even if you have Primal, you just want to put the resin minis in there. You're going to be like the only one with resin minis in your Primal copy, which is kind of cool too. And that will go to Jonathan. So Jonathan, congratulations. I hope you enjoy it. It is quite a bit of fun. All right, next up we have The Witcher Old World All In. This is a obviously big amount of content. The Witcher Old World is something that I quite enjoyed. I really liked the map part of it, and obviously all the different minis and stuff are super cool as well. There's a lot of gameplay here, a lot of different enemies and quests you can do and all sorts of stuff like that. And that's going to be going to Zachary. So Zachary, again, thank you for the donations. Thank you for the support. Thank you for being a member of this community, and congratulations. All right. 
Next up, next up, we have a large unpainted Tamers bundle. So this is a very large bundle. This is a ton of game, a ton of boxes. They're all unpainted. So if you want to paint them, this is actually probably the best one there for it because you get so much of the stuff and then you can paint it however you wish. Still a ton of gameplay, still a lot here, uh, a lot of Tenaris. <laughs> and this will be going to Andrew. So Andrew, congratulations on this. It's a, it, it's a big win. There's a lot here. Um, so I hope you really enjoyed it. And again, guys, I love giving back as much as I can, and that's what this is all about. Obviously, the whole focus was to support the channel, and honestly, it helped a ton to be able to continue to back games, even when I was kind of in limbo. I know that the channel's secure. I know that uh, I can still fund my website and have my email address to contact different companies, and I can back games and have them be brought in and show them off to you. And seriously, it helps a ton. Thank you so much, of course. And I get to give back, like with giant bundles of Tenaris, because that's fun. Next up, the Old World, or the Witcher Old World Deluxe. This is the Deluxe Edition of it, as you can see. It's still a ton of stuff. Lots of expansions involved in this as well, so there's some exclusives and whatnot. It, it's a great box of games, or a great box of game that you will very much enjoy. Very much a Deluxe Edition of the Witcher Old World, and that's going to Emmanuel, so I hope you enjoy this one as well. Again, it's going to be super duper cool. All right, this is fun. This is Solomon Kane. Now this is uh, two different expansions plus an errata pack. Um, and uh, how this came to be is, again, I buy copies of games. They're expensive, but it makes sure that I'm aware of the price and I make sure I'm aware of how much it affects consumers and I stay as much as I can in the consumer section of things while still running a channel. Now, companies often like aren't used to that. Most YouTubers will not buy their own version. In fact, often they will specifically request copies, something I have only ever rarely, rarely done. Um, and that was kind of towards the beginning when my Patreon and YouTube membership wasn't really supporting it enough to be able to do that. And these games are very expensive, obviously. So I would still kind of like run out of funds and still want to bring uh, some coverage. So it's been a while since I've done that at all, actually. So I normally don't, but these companies often, if they're using you or they know about you uh, to like, you know, show off a game, a prototype, something like that, they'll just send you a copy. They have your address and they're like, hey, or hopefully you show it off, I guess. I don't know what the whole hoopla is about that, but often I'll end up with double, right? <laughs> because it's like, here's a copy I bought and here's a copy they, apparent, here's a copy they ended up sending me. This is one of those things where they, they ended up sending me like the Rata Pack and these two expansions. I'd already bought it, so I have it. So this is literally in the box it came in, except my cat liked to sit on it. So I think there's like scratches on it, but you, you'll, you'll, get, you'll, you'll get to see what my cat does with the boxes. He loved perching on that for a long time. But either way, super cool, literally unopened, not played at all, brand new. That's going out to Kevin. So Kevin, I hope you enjoy that. Uh, don't judge me on the box. Again, blame my cat. But seriously, it's like, it's brand new. And so you'll get some of that. Plus the Rata Pack. Solomon Kane, by the way, fantastic game. Love, love, love Solomon Kane. It's why I'm keeping my personal copy, actually, and why it's not on this. Next up, we have Chronicles of Drunagor plus Chronicles of Drunagor Apocalypse. Again, these are actually from Creative Game Studios. They're the ones kind of supporting this. So a lot of the companies, because I'm not wanting to like, you know, have a whole bunch of just funds from the company support it. Instead, they support it kind of like uh, through like promos, or in this case, through copies of games that they can give back to donators. So this is one of those copies. So going to be brand new for you. And it is for Nicholas. So Nicholas, congratulations a ton of game. I've already talked about the game, so I'm not going to talk about the gameplay too much more, except that it's really, really great, and I very much enjoy it, especially, again, Apocalypse, one of my favorite, actually. Really have enjoyed Apocalypse a lot. Just super duper cool. All right, next up, Osorn, Collectors All In, another big support, uh, and this is another super awesome giveaway here. This this is going to be awesome that you guys get one of these. Um it, it, it's an amazing game, and I'm really stoked for Juan. Juan, I hope you very much enjoy your copy of The Collectors All In of O Sworn. God, that's a lot of game. A great game. You're going to enjoy it. Next up, Madara Act 1 Plus Extras. This is another thing where, again, I bought Madara. They sent Madara. I now have two copies of Madara, so one of them's going to you. You can make, you can pretend it's the, the free copy or the one that I paid for. Either way, Madara. Massive game. Massive game. This is a ton. This is one of the heaviest boxes I have. There's so many minis and cards and ways to level up. And the game tiles are 
probably the like top tier game tiles I've seen. I love the like they, they have like the, the the shiny like UV kind of reflection where there's like slime or water and stuff like that. Just beautiful game, great artwork, cool leveling mechanic, a lot of story. You're gonna love it. And that's gonna go to Douglas. Douglas, congratulations on a very big win here. Uh, Madara Act One plus extras is one of the biggest thank you gifts you can get. It's a lot, it's a lot. But there's a lot, a lot ones here. So next up, Townsfolk Tussle. This is the Peddler's Welcome Basket. So again, quite a bit here. This is the the the, the new one, right, that they kind of came out with. So as you can see here, it has the Foul Neighbors expansion, the Odd Jobs expansion. There's a lot of great game here. A very unique, very unique style, not just in visuals, but in how it plays too when it comes to playing through almost a roguelike boss battler. Very, very fun. Very cool. And that is going to uh, Ase. I, I don't, again, I don't know exactly how to say that. A's. So I apologize if I've butchered your name, but either way, congratulations. That's going to be a fun one. Next up, Dark Rituals Almost All In. This is, it again, my personal copy here. And again, it makes me very sad to give this up. But, but, again, I have not been showing it the love that it should get from somebody who owns it. So this is a very cool game. It's a very indie game, but the art style is amazing. The miniatures are fantastic. The gameplay is super cool. Um, there's a lot of interesting, uh, it kind of reminds me of The Witcher where you're like gathering herbs and stuff to like make different things. So that's really cool. It's just, it's a very, very cool game and the witch powers are awesome. And there's a lot of fun stuff, but I just don't get it to the table often enough. So I want one of you guys to have it. So giving it away back to somebody in the community going to be awesome and that's going to go to Dennis. So Dennis, congratulations on a truly cool game. Next up, another copy, Chronicles Drungar plus Chronicles Drungar Apocalypse. Again, massive win here. There's a ton here. A ton here. What you're seeing there, that's just the Apocalypse. There's a way more. It's like double that. It's a massive amount of game. And that's going to go to Ravenil. So, congratulations on that win. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much again for your donation. All right. Arena plus Narrow Bundle. This is, I think, the last bundle. I think it may be the smallest bundle. And that's not saying a whole lot because there's still quite a bit here. Boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff. I have so much of this stuff. It's crazy. And that's going to pa 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 Palomo? 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 Whatever your name is, I apologize for missing it. I'm sure I did. My Seriously, I do apologize. I wish I was better at that. But either way, you see your name there. We'll contact you. You're going to have an awesome bundle of game here. It's going to be super cool. All right, next up, an Age of Rome Emperor All In. Again, this is a support from Teetotem, and it's going to be super cool. This is uh, Laszlo. Laszlo, congratulations on this beautiful looking game. This game is very pretty and very unique looking. I think it's awesome. All right, next up, we have Bedevel Carnival, the collector's box. This is a game I actually played at Essen Spiel. Had a quite a bit of fun. That being said, it, you need to really think, and I don't. I was not doing very well, so I didn't do very well with the game. Uh, mainly because I make poor decisions. I don't think things through all the time. I just do what seems best at the time, and apparently that was not a great strategy. Like, you really gotta think. It's actually a pretty smart game, and the art is fantastic. The theme's super cool, and Marshall, you will be getting my copy of this, so I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it's, it, 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 it's one of the more indie ones out there, so it's super cool. All right, next up we have Kabula. Again, some more support here. This is a huge package, plus a neoprene mat. What a wild and unique game. This game could not exist without crowdfunding, which makes it awesome in my eyes because any game that is literally not mass marketable, like purposely not mass marketable, this game could only exist because of crowdfunding. And it, it was supported and it actually delivered in spades with this huge package. Plus the Neoprene Mat, very good copy of it. That's going to Adam. Adam, congratulations. And again, thank you so much. Whew. Next up, Super Fantasy Brawl. This is a Kickstarter 1 plus 2 all-in. Again, this is a, a, what I have. It's my own copy. It's a lot, a lot of board game. I love the minis. I love the gameplay. I think it's a super cool game. I just don't table it often enough. It's just not the, one of the skirmish games that we end up picking. But it's super duper cool. And I know highly rated. A lot of people very much enjoy it. It's a beautiful game. Well produced. Brian, you are the lucky winner of that. It's a lot of game. It's going to be way cool. Super excited for you. Whew. Lords of Ragnarok, Sun Drop Collectors All In, another one from uh, Game War Create. Again, thank you so much for the support. And thank you, Mark, for your support as well through the donation and supporting this channel. I do appreciate it. You're going to have a lot. Of, this is a lot. 
the sun drop collectors all in is a massive win for you. Like that's super cool. So thank you so much for that. All right. I think this might be the last copy. I know there's quite a bit, quite a bit. Again, Kronk's of Drunagar plus Kronk's of Drunagar Apocalypse. Giving out a ton of these. You guys are going to love it. I'm sure. Such a great game. Jason Brown. Jason, congratulations on your big win here. And I hope you enjoy it. <clears throat> Harakiri. Harakiri, the prototype. This is such a fun prototype, too. And it's such a good slice of the game. Um, really good. And again, you get some resin minis. So you're going to have some minis that not everybody else gets. I finally, finally got my copy of Harakiri. It's right there. It's being unboxed later today. So I'll be unboxing that and showing that off to you guys. It's going to be super cool. I'm super excited to jump into it. I've actually had it for a while, but it was sent to my old address. And then again, it's just it's taken a long time to get things here. I, I can't stress enough how much work off camera I've been putting to getting things back to normal. But we're here now. Super pumped to show you the final version of that. This is going to be the super exclusive prototype that you get to win. Philip, I hope you enjoy it. It's really, really cool. Next up, Sinjitsu prototype. Sinjitsu was such a hard one for me because it was such a cool looking game. And it's just not one I ended up enjoying, but a lot of people did. That being said, Stone Sword has had some issues with delivering stuff since then, but you can still get your copy of this. And the prototype, by the way, fully playable. Like, it is it is a solid prototype. They did a good job on it, and that will be David. David, congratulations. Enjoy your super-duper exclusive-looking kind of Sinjutsu, because it's going to be the prototype. It's going to be awesome. All right, next up, Assassin's Creed. The Assassin's Pledge is a big win. As you see, 140-plus minis. It's a ton. Over an 8, an 8.4 looks like a BGG at the time that that image was created anyway. So obviously it can have been flow. But either way, well-regarded game, well-enjoyed game, a big game. There's a lot here. And that's going to go to Jason. Jason, congratulations. Enjoy this one. It's a lot. It's going to be a big box. That's for sure. All right, next up, Frosthaven. Core Plus stickers. This is unopened. I backed the Kickstarter. I got it. And then I promptly never played it. Um, this is on me. I understand that. It's just not something that quite made it to the table. Comes to game night, I only have so much time to play these board games. Frosthaven wasn't one of the ones that rised above the top to get picked. But a lot of people, a lot of people love it. And I, I might as well, but I never played it. And it, it's better to be given to a member of the community that's supporting this community. So thank you so much, St Stijin. For, uh, and again, I apologize for the, the name pronunciation. I'm sure I did it bad there. But congratulations on this. And thank you again so much for supporting this entire community in this channel. Our next up, Age of Rome Emperor All In. This is another one here. This one is going to Alex. Alex, congratulations. I hope you enjoy one of the prettiest games I've ever seen. All right, next up, we have another Age of Rome Emperor All In. This is, again, there's quite a bit. This one's going to Spencer. So congratulations, Spencer. You'll get one as well. Now, Gloomhaven, retail. Again, same thing. So, never played. This one has been opened. I believe I did unbox it, but I never actually played it. Again, I have not played Gloomhaven. It's just not something that's jumping out at me as like, this is what I'm going to be playing today, which sucks. I know I'm missing out probably on something amazing, but it is what it is. I've enjoyed my game time anyway. I, I enjoy playing my games with my family, with my friends. It's been a blast. Just not with Gloomhaven or Frosthaven. But... Chris, congratulations, you're getting this. Uh, so it's really just the cost of shipping. So it's going to be the cheapest copy of Gloomhaven probably ever given. But uh, there you go. You're going to get it, and that's going to be awesome. All right, next up is another Chronicles of Drunagar, uh, or the Chronicles of Drunagar Apocalypse. On top of that, it's going to be a lot. That's going to Mitch. Mitch, congratulations. He, again, I love this game. I cannot stress enough how... it's. I don't know, something about it. It's kind of weird. Uh, like, I even mentioned how much I enjoyed it in my review way, way back when. I just, it's just fun to play. It's a cool world. I like the world that it is. I like the art. I, I love the RPG mechanics to it, the skills. I'm very big on that. Just the, the, the cube system's fun. I have really good memories of playing it with my family, especially the first one when my kids were younger and they were, like, not teenagers, <laughs> right? So it's just really enjoyable. I had a great time with this game. All right, Phantom West All In. This is a fun one. I have seen even other people review Phantom West, and even in the review, they're just smiling. They're just having a blast, like, playing the game. It's a very cool little um, Western, but not, like, normal Earth Western sandbox game. 
and the creators of it are super smart. They're running a lean company that's doing quite well. They're really supporting their IP and their game, and that's super awesome. And this Bantam West All In is going to Bjornor or Bjornor. Or again, I apologize for the butchering of that. I do apologize for the name. Um, that that's on me, not you. I know. But either way, this is going to you. So that's going to be super awesome. Thank you so much for your support. All right, Earth Under Siege Invasion the Pledge. This is cool earth under siege flashpoint was just such a such a cool game again it's that kind of mass effecty kind of style but it just a, a, again an amazing world really cool story as well just the whole theme is awesome and i actually have another big unboxing of that because it finally delivered i'm super excited to dive into it that's going to matthew matthew congratulations not not that as in that copy that's that, that, that that's mine but either way it's gonna be super cool all right, next up is Sanctorum. This is the core box. Sanctorum is such a unique game. Again, one that can never be mass marketed. This is a crowdfunded board game. Super cool sci-fi version of a game. Just the entire theme is something that stands out from anything else on the shelf. Johnny, you're going to be getting Sanctorum. Congratulations and enjoy it. All right, next up, Rising Sun, Daimyo, plus Dynasty Invasion, plus Monster Pack, plus Art Book. The reason all the pluses are here is because this is my copy from way back when... It way back when again this was my first kickstarter i ever backed i painted a lot of rising sun you're gonna get some painted minis um those painted minis i'm not saying that i'm the best painter ever but at the quality that they're painted the time i put into it probably worth actually a fair bit if somebody wanted to pimp out the rising sun um this is honestly one that's kind of hard just because there's so much historical value to me um but at, at this point we play other games and so somebody else can enjoy my personal copy of Rising Sun. I did get quite a bit of it. I did enjoy it an incredible amount. Um, love the art. Love the minis. The gameplay is super neat. Um, uh, I, the, the mandates are cool. Like, just there's so much good in this game that it's kind of stood the test of time for a lot of people. And, again, you get some painted minis, too. That's going to Daniel. Daniel, congratulations. I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's a pretty nice little... Um, piece of history for this channel, at least. All right, next up, Crystal Age. So Crystal Age, this is coming out soon. Again, on crowdfunding, I'll go ahead and put a link down in the description below. Uh, this is assuming a fund. So again, if this does not fund, if the game can't be made, then don't worry about it. But if it is, you're getting the core. I'd put in a dollar anyway. You can always add to and stuff. But the core, that's coming to you. Alexander, congratulations. I hope you have a blast with it. And honestly, it looks pretty cool to me. And the art is just gorgeous. Oh my gosh. All right, Bard Song, gameplay all in. Again, this is one of the games that I enjoyed my game time with. Then I got the actual game, and it just never quite hit the table. So the all in, this massive thing of Bard Song that you're getting here. Nicholas, I hope you enjoy it. All right, following that, Myth of Battles Ragnarok prototype. Obviously, now I have the original one. The prototype, though, is super cool. First of all, my wife painted some of the minis. Second of all, the trees in here are, like, way taller. Like, it's a it's a very unique version of Mythic Battles Riding Around. But you got a whole lot of the, um, like, units in there, right? A lot, a lot of the gods and the and the monsters and stuff like that. So the, there was a lot of cool stuff. I mean, Fenrir's in there. You're going to get some really cool minis. You're going to get some more units. You're going to get uh, a slice of history with a prototype. Some of it's even painted. You're going to have a lot of fun with it. So, Zoe, I hope you enjoy that one. It's a cool win. Next up, the Malha, the, Ma, the Malia, sorry, Malia prototype. Again, a very unique game. Something that, again, would only really be possible through crowdfunding. And, Tony, you're going to be getting that prototype. Again, the prototypes are pretty cool, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, Uprising, Ultimate All-In. This is one of the most premium games pretty much ever produced when it comes to produce. Like, if you wanted to throw around the word overproduced, this could be one of them. Not that I feel overproduced is necessarily a bad thing, but overproduces and it's just such a high quality. Every little detail is just wonderful to interact with. The art is crisp. The design is good. The quality of the components is fantastic. Very, very cool. Uh, very beloved game by a lot of people can be kind of difficult even. So if you don't want a game you can just casually win all the time, Uprising is one of the first ones that I'd point you to. Um, just very, very cool looking, feeling game. Eric, I hope you enjoy it. Here's my Magic 3 prototype. 
This is again kind of fun. It's a very interesting little slice of the game and it's a really early version of it. Again, not a lot of these exist out there. So you will be one of the few that has the prototype of Heroes of My Magic 3. If you are a fan of the game, this would just be a cool collector's item almost to have. And West, I hope you enjoy it. Um, it it's going to be a cool, cool thing to have for sure. And again, still got some cool minis and stuff like that too. It's still completely playable. All right, next up we have an Epic 7 prototype. This was sent out a long time ago. Uh, it's missing some of the minis. However, it does have some of them there and it's cool to kind of see, again, how it was originally. If you're a fan of the IP, this is the big one for you. Uh, Jacinto, I hope that you enjoy it. Next up we have Force of Radgoss. This is the Divine Pledge. Force of Radgoss is such a unique game. Again, could never be made without crowdfunding. It, it's, it's a very cool game where uh, you get to just learn a lot of this like kind of slavic lore that is just so awesome the art is gorgeous the game like itself is just so pretty uh gaten jaten jaten again i apologize for the name but either way i hope you enjoy your copy of this it's gonna be awesome next up oh sworn this is a mystery chest plus one and two so again i have an extra one of these so the mystery chest one and two uh is exactly as it says it's it's, it's the both of them it's gonna be super cool james i hope you enjoy it all right another force of ragos another divine pledge here uh, uh get, get, <laughs> i can never state your name get get gilliman gilliman i apologize again thank you so much for your just the uh, awesome chats we've had over time of course the uh amazing support and how you make this community so great again it's people like you that make up this community and it's awesome and I love it. So I hope you enjoy this one. It's pretty fun. All right, next up we have Destiny's Witchwood, the deluxe Destiny storage. Again, super cool win here and I hope you enjoy it. Dwayne, and uh, it, it's a lot here. Uh, it's a pretty big box, pretty big box. All right, now this is the Acorn Pledge of Force of Radgoss and that goes to Brandon. Brandon, congratulations again. Super unique, super cool looking game. All right. Bad Karma's prototype. I think I have two of these. So here is the first one here, and that's going to go to Antoli. So Anatoly, I hope you enjoy this one. Congratulations. And then there's a Dungeonology Core. This is, again, something I backed a long time ago and then ended up not really enjoying. Um, LMS, I think, has become a pretty interesting developer. This was definitely one of their earlier ones. So it's definitely a different style than what they do now. And that's going to go to Jessica. Jessica, congratulations again. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you for being part of the community. Uh, all, all of you guys are great, and I really appreciate it. Our right, next up is Stuffed Fables. This is my personal copy of Stuffed Fables that I personally bought and played through with my kids. They loved it. It's a great, fantastic game to play with children. Um, where as an adult, you're still entertained. It's still well done. The gameplay's still good. But then they can play alongside you and they really connect to it in a different way. And some of the minis are painted, so that's fun too. Uh, Ryan, I hope you enjoy your copy. Or that used to be my copy of Stuff Fables. Next up, the Cyber Odyssey prototype. Again, super cool. Cyber Odyssey is such a, a very uh, interesting world that they've created, and you're really kind of moving around the city in a very cool way. It plays different than pretty much anything else, and it's one of the few things from Red Joker that's going to be sent out to anybody at this point, it seems like. So, Daryl, I hope you enjoy it. It, it. It's, again, very, very cool, and the minis look really awesome. Our next up, Idols of Torment. This is, again, some support from the company. This is a digital starter bundle plus all miniature STLs. So in other words, this is completely digital. You will get this probably before anybody else just because you're going to get it pretty much instantly. There's a lot of cool stuff here. It's a very unique style game. The terrain manipulation looks super cool. Dennis, enjoy it. I hope you uh, have a lot of fun with even just printing them out. If, even if that's all you do, it's going to be super cool. All right, next up is V Sabotage, and this is the retail version of it. This is an older game that I don't even know if it's in retail anymore, but either way, you're going to get your copy of it. Carl, enjoy it. I hope you have a blast with it. Next up, we have Waste Nights. This is a second edition. This is, again, uh, uh, it says retail, but they, they kind of sent this over quite a bit ago, um, and I looked at it, and it looked really, really cool. It's like a Mad Max style kind of thing, but I never ended up playing it, so I hope you get to enjoy it, get to play it. Garrett, enjoy Waste Nights, the second edition. You're grabbing that one. Next up, World Breakers Core. Again, some more support uh, from the companies here, and that's super awesome to see that 
Uh, they appreciate what the channel is doing here too. Uh, beautiful looking art. The cards here just look great. And I hope you enjoy this game. Juan, have a blast with it. Okay, we have two of these. So the second one's going out to Justin. Justin, again, I hope you enjoy it. As you can see, the art is something special. That's for sure. All right, next up, we have a Terror Wolf plus Fortress Clan. These, again, by the Red Joker, are these card games that actually are pretty well reviewed and really, really fun. And they're, they're just these little boxes, so shipping will be pretty easy. And you can play them uh, together, and they look super cool. Jacob, I hope you enjoy them. All right, the Singularity Prototype. This is only being given away because I bought the actual uh, game. Because the prototype is a ton of fun, and I enjoyed playing it, and I would keep it if I wasn't getting their whole game. But somebody else can enjoy it as well. Again, very cool game. Love the art style. Love the style of the game itself. It plays really well. It's a fun card game. Billy, I hope you enjoy it. Another Idols of Torment, another Digital Starter Bundle plus All Mentors STL. Again, you will get this pretty much instantly, so congratulations on that. That goes to Steve. Steve, I hope you enjoy it. All right, next up is Disrupt. Disrupt was kind of interesting because it just was randomly sent to me. I had no idea even who sent it. It took me a while to find out who even sent it. But either way, definitely not a game for me, so I never even bothered playing it. But somebody will love it. Kyle, I hope you do. Valor and Villainy Core, again, another game that I backed a long time ago, hoping that my daughter would want to play with me, but she never ended up really getting into it, though she did like the horse miniature in this. So uh, the Minions of Mordak looks like a really good game, though, and I hope that, Joe, you have a great time with it. I went back to it thought it was a bad game. This is not one I ended up tabling, sadly. just didn't work out for our schedule or quite the interest level for my children at the time, but honestly, looks pretty pretty good. Next up, we have Dragon Ball Lords of Vala. This is a fun one. Super cool looking game. Uh, beautiful. I finally just got this in to show you guys uh, the game. And so you can see that now. Again, very, very pretty. That's going to Darren. Darren, I hope you have a blast with it. Next up is Kung Fu Panda Retail. Again, another game given to me uh, in the hopes that my kids would play it. But they just never did, which is funny because they love Kung Fu Panda. But the board game itself just never quite hit the table. And so, Nicholas, I hope that it does for you, and I hope that you have a blast with it. Next up is the second Bad Karma's prototype, and that's going to Jason. Jason, I hope you have a blast with that. Again, pretty darn cool to see it uh, there. I think uh, the uh, uh, the actual Tebru system needs a little bit of soldering on the wires, but besides that, it should work just fine. All right, next we have Upzone, the Cathedral prototype. This is a prototype of it. I showed this off on the channel. So if you want some quick pop-up terrain for uh, either role-playing or skirmish, this is a great win. Jason, I hope you have a blast with it. Next up, the Witcher Path of Destiny prototype. This is the newer Witcher one. And again, one that I actually ended up enjoying far more than I thought I would. I don't think this game shows off as well as uh, the old world did, but I think it plays really, really smooth. And I actually had quite, quite a bit of fun with this to the point where I kept playing it actually a little bit even after the review there. And Michael, that's going to you. I hope you have a blast with it. Again, super cool to get the little prototype, I think. Next up, Guardians of the Chronicles, Guardian Chronicles Core, another Red Joker game. This was what led to Oko Chronicles, and it plays quite similarly, except it's Versus, and it has superheroes. So that's going to Anindra, Anindra, I hope I said that kind of right. Uh, thank you again so much for your support, and I hope you have a blast with the game. All right, I think this might be the last one. This is the 007 Spectre board game. Uh, so if you are a 007 fan, this is a huge win for you. Like, really, really big. Uh, because you don't get a lot of 007 board games. That's going to Matt. Matt, there you go. Guys, thank you so much. Whew. These take a while just because, like, there's a lot to go over. I, th that's a lot of games that are being given out. I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, I apologize for the delay. I know that doesn't make things better or right or anything like that. And in fact... What this has taught me, even though I don't plan to have a life uprooted the way that I just did this year, and, and, and again, I keep it off the channel for the most part, but I can't stress enough just how much of a shift this was for my family. But regardless, I think it'd be better in the future to maybe, if I do a fundraiser again, to do 
maybe multiple but smaller ones so it's just like 10 you know gifts at a time or maybe it's just the ones that are through companies and so then it's not really a whole lot for me or i don't do the stretch goals or what either way i'll figure it out i still want to be able to have this channel remain mostly funded through actual the community as much as possible so that it's still community focused and driven i do really appreciate that i love the fact that i can show off these indie games that maybe won't get all the views or you know uh, call out a company that maybe it's a popular company and it's not something that's gonna like have people like you know be super excited about the channel if they feel another way but i am free to do that based off of the independence you guys give me so i do really appreciate it it does really help this is an expensive hobby it's expensive to run this channel especially in the way that i run it and i thank you so much for your support guys thank you again so much if you didn't get a thank you gift again i do apologize i can't quite give to everybody that gives and again i know that's not why you're giving but at the same time i love the opportunity to give back so i hope you've enjoyed the videos i hope you continue to enjoy the videos I hope you enjoy these thank you gifts if you got one. And either way, guys, thank you so very much. Have a great rest of your day. Take care. Bye, guys.